Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! It's me, Cooper, and today we go back into our campaign. We are doing amazing against Tier 4 opponents. No losses so far with a fun water deck that only has one Umi in it. And if I had more Umis, I'd run more Umis, I just don't. Damn it, I'm going second against Shoddy. We're gonna see if we can keep up our winning streak, but it's gonna be tough, as sometimes they go ham, and sometimes they just mess up. Okay, just a single monster. I don't know why I feel fear. I got both my morphing jars and both my swords in the same hand. A little weird, I know. Let's see if he has a flip effect. Well, what do I lose? No ritual, please. Damn it. Alright, well, my spell card's worthless. Ooh, I lost some I lost some nice stuff. Okay. Well, my spell card is officially worthless. Um I am not about to help you deck me out. I'm not morphing jarring yet. I might do it, but I'm not doing it yet. I'm going to destroy your Needleworm, and I'm going to play the waiting game to figure out how I want to do this. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you, Shoddy. You got. I want you to know that. Jakey loves you. All right, let's go with Call of the Haunted. I don't. I didn't lose any monsters, did I? Holy crap! They hit five spells, traps, and rituals. That's crazy. All right. Well, his hand is terrible if he's playing that, so I don't want to waste this opportunity. I'm gonna summon Morphin Jar. Yeah, Morphin Jar, the beater monster. Some people said it couldn't be done, but it, it can be done. If he played Mystic Lamp, I have to believe his his hand is ass. I end my turn. Oh, wow. No, no. He was pocketing a Legin. That's that's a real card. Okay. Nope. He baited me. I'll give him that much credit. I need my Jinzo or something. Something big. Hot Agree can help me get that. Let's see what I get. Ah, only enough to crash. That's not really what I want to do, but I guess I'm going to. I summon seven colored fish. I have two swords, but I want to use them for flip effects. So I'm going to go ahead and go in. I'm going to be a little over aggressive. I'm going to attack with seven card fish, destroy Legin. Yep, water versus dark version of 18 beaters. Seven card fish goes in again. Okay. And then we call the haunted, and we get three. We attacked with three separate seven card fishes, even though two were technically the same. And that is how you play Yu-Gi-Oh, everybody. I hope you're enjoying Lessons with Cooper. Alright, 2300 life points left, what do you got? Oh, I love this guy. I love Shoddy. You you might be my favorite Tier 4 character now. Because not just the music, because the music's pretty cool. Uh, but you you just, you suck. <laughs> I, I could really appreciate that. Morphing Jar, let's go. Yep, I want to win with Morphing Jar. Mystic Lamp gets destroyed by Jar. It's the only counter card I own. 1800 attack comes through. This is what you get for throwing away my Umi, you monster. And my chance at ritual summoning. Even though the last time I ritual summoned, it got stolen from me. That happened last episode. It was rough. I never dreamed you were so powerful. Dude, you played Mystic Lamp twice in attack mode with no protection. Yeah! I got him! I got Dream Clown! Oh my god. Oh, the effect is written differently in this game. I can take that. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Let's continue. I need more. You think I can win a duel with just one Dream Clown? It's not right. I need more. Hey, Yugs, it's me. For some reason, my Umi deck is undefeated. I want you to explain how. Painful choice, of course. Monster of Born, of course. I drew the right card. Oh my god, I have everything I need. Alright, start Umi. Pray to God, Call of the Haunted doesn't get hit. Summon Great White in attack mode. Painful choice doesn't matter right now, because right now we're just throwing shit away. We don't need. Alright, so we don't need Catapult Turtle. We don't need... Um... Catapult I don't need either of them. Either of them, whatever. I don't need them. I don't need them. 
I don't need... Where's Jinzo? He's in here somewhere. Don't pretend like you're not. I don't need Jinzo. And the rest of these cards I kind of do need. So let's just pick cards that... If I lose them, it's not the biggest loss in the world. Um, I'm not going to need Heavy Storm this duel. So if they, if they gave it to me, they gave it to me. But I won't need it. And I'm not going to need... I mean, I'm sure they wouldn't give me Sonic Bird. So let's just go Sonic Bird. I get to keep the Heavy Storm, like, like I thought. Alright, and then we just play the waiting game. Yep. We play the waiting game. So, Yami Yugi, what do you got? I always am afraid to see a pot of greed. I actually call the haunted. No, I'm joking. I don't have Spell Canceler. I can't do that. That'd be crazy, though. And now my Heavy Storm seems valuable, but it's not. You want to know why? Because I have Call of the Haunted. And Heavy Storm has no value. Because I have Jinzo. And with the all power of Jinzo, there's nothing you can do. You see, I wanted you to do that. I was baiting you. I made you do a thousand damage to yourself. Because what I actually want to do is, well, I'd rather Potter, uh, I'd rather get Monster Reborn off than Pot of Greed, in case he happened to have both. Okay, yeah, no. All, all I really wanted to do was Monster Reborn. I was baiting you, obviously. And now I summon Jinzo. But you think it's over, but no. And yeah, Jinzo doesn't work with Umi, but I just I just make them go together because he's too good of a card not to use. Um, and then you think it's over, but I still have Gemini L. So unless you have the best flip effect monster in the game, you're going down. Plus, I know you run 2K Defender, so I'm going to let Jinzo do it. <gasps> One of the best cards in the game when it comes to defense, but now it's in attack mode. Now it's mine. Seven colored fish go. Oh, wait, you're sorry. I forgot that Umi was on the field. Great white go. Gemini elf go. All right, Yugi, that thousand burns starting to cost you, isn't it? And if you do somehow get rid of my Umi, you're the one that pays for it, because Jinzo gains 200 attack points. Alright, give me a change of heart for game. Confiscation's interesting. I already have game, though, so I'm just gonna... Well, actually, he might have Karibo. He might have just drawn it. We don't know. We should, uh... We should play it safe. He has Magician of Black Chaos, which is super cool. He has D-Spell, he has anti red Gekki, he has Dark Magician Girl. Um... I respect a lot of this. I'm not even mad. So, because I respect it, I'm going to throw away Dark Magician Girl. Uh, I'm just going to summon Mother Grizzly. And we're going to beat you down. It's going to hurt. Jinzo, take care of the flip effect possibility. Nope, just Gazelle. Hey there, Gazelle. You're an awesome card, too. And now we win with Beatdown. Such a shame. Yami Yugi. You were once a hero, but now you're a zero. I have won, everybody. And with this victory, what are we going to get? Very good. Oh, man. I get... Please, more Dream Clowns. Nope, but I got more Battle Boxes, which is pretty good. Ancient Telescope's bad. Um, let's just go ahead and see. I mean, it has a use. You just... You don't need it. I... I... Look. I don't know who the game designers are. Why do I have 10 of these? I'll use one, okay? I'll freaking use one. I'll, I'll do it. My next deck, Guy of the Dragon Champion deck, I promise. I promise. But let's let's just get some more cards first, okay? Let's just get some more cards. Hey, this could be the fifth victory. They might have a different uh, dialogue now. All right, so Yami Bakura, if I beat you five times, how will you react to it? Although I have to beat you those five times. God damn it. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, good. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and draw. Catapult is not a good draw. Monster Reborn is fine. Oh my god, this is not good. Alright, well, let's find out if his hand is bad as well, because this is the first time I've drawn a bad hand. Alright, Yami, Maneater, King, Gorgon, Call. Alright, Call's his best card, Mayor Bug will be annoying, but I can deal with it. Next turn, he's gonna set, so it doesn't matter if I leave myself wide open, unless he top decks a monster. Okay, that's Man Ear Bug. We know it's Man Ear Bug, so let's plan for Man Ear Bug. Um, I activate Pato Greed. I'm not playing Umi until he plays Yami. Interesting that I got my own Man Ear Bug. You know what? I can't do anything else. If I summon an attack, I take damage, but we both die. If I set, I don't get my effect off, so I have to do this. Alright. 
I attack. Goodbye, man eater bug. Man eater bug versus man eater bug, and guess who won? No one, because that was just a weird play. All right. I need to get rid of its effect for whoever I actually draw next, because my hand's kind of bad. I don't know how I got this bad of a hand. King of Yami Makai? Okay, Panic. <laughs> Panic is attacking us with some pretty powerful monsters. A 2k beater is pretty good. I mean, I'm a guy that respects Curse of Dragons, so I also respect this. You know what? He didn't have harpies or anything in his hands, so I'm okay with this. I am a-okay. You know what? I have to set you. I have to set you, I have to set you, I have to set you, and next turn I can get Jinzo. Terror the Terrible? My life points! I didn't want to use swords yet, because I thought he might have flip effects, but, hmm, maybe I should have. My life points are kind of low. Plus, he just got a new hand. Who the hell knows what I just gave him? I didn't think about that, did I? Ow. One trap. I can live with one trap. Let me show you something. I don't need life points. Life points are for the weak. Alright. He lost... Gorgon A... No, he lost Whiptail and Dark Chimera, which he did not care about in the first place. Alright, well, first things first. I can't let him use traps on me, so we're gonna use Monster Reborn and we're gonna get Jinzo. That is the obvious play. Gotta stop those trap cards. Next thing's next. I have Megamorph, which is really good. I have Sonic Bird with Fortress Whale, which is really good. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get our boss monster. Fortress Whale's out. Yep. And I know you're like, Jinzo's stronger than your boss, not when Umi's on the field. Yeah. You ever think about that? This whole deck has to do with Umi. So if it's not on the field, then therefore it's not the boss. Alright, Fortress... No! Not Jinzo! Oh, game, I hate you. I actually hate the game now. Literally, I was trying to move and it did not move. Oh my god. Okay, well, as much as I hate the game, I have to live with this. Okay. I pray to god that trap isn't good, because my monsters are in danger right now. Still, if I'm going to lose, I might as well lose with style. Megamorph, let's go. Yeah, that was not supposed to happen. 4,900 attack. Welcome to my boss monster. All right, King of Yame Makai, be damned. Got him. Next, we're going to... No... Okay. Well, I wonder how this will go. This is very scary. I feel fear. Because Raigeki, Change of Heart, Snatch, Steel, all that stuff exists, I'm, so, I'm gonna use swords. I feel a lot of fear right now. There's something wrong. Oh, no. Yes, I activate Call of the Haunted. With this, I get back my Jinzo. With Jinzo, I negate Call of the Haunted. Now it goes back to my hand with no cost. Oh, well. And he won. And that's it. My first loss, everybody, goes to Yami Bakora. Yep. That was the perfect hand. Those were every every single card he just had was the perfect card to stop me. To be fair, that was the first time I ever opened with a bad hand with this deck. And the deck has not changed at all. So that was the first time we ever had that. And I can live with that. So let's go ahead, Yami Bakora. Let's get a little rematch going. You're getting irritated by rematching me? Come on. I can beat you. I just got a little unlucky. I have no clue how bad that hand could... I, I did not realize it'd be that bad. But it was. Alright. I draw Sonic Bird. Uh, Jinzo. Catapult. Gemini. I activate Delinquent Do. I want to know what my opponent's working with here. Try to hit spells or traps. I hit a spell. What is it? Yeah, I don't like Axe of Despair. I'm glad that's gone. That's one of the few good spells in this game. Uh, let's go ahead and just lose Sonic Bird just to get the search through my deck. You know, thin out the deck, do my job. Uh, yep. We're gonna get Fortress Whales out, because that's always fun. Aw. Aw, don't do it. Oh, thank God. I thought he was good at Trivia. We're fine. We're fine. That's all he could do. Alright, well, I may not have seven tools, but I can find out why your hand is so bad. Let's let's go take a peek. That delinquent duo hurt you more than I thought. 
Oh, dear God, you are just panic. Yami Bakura is just pan I lost to panic. It hurts my heart, but I but my old hand was really bad, so I'm not that, in you know, I'm not that insulted. Uh, it would be more damage if I just went for, you know, two monsters. But I'm willing to go for Jinzo right now in case they top deck Dark Hole, because I don't want to lose all the monsters I can actually normal summon. Because they have a higher chance of top decking Dark Hole or Raigeki than anything else. And Pot Agreed, like I said, could get them the card I was just talking about. Nope. Not, not uh, too scared of his flip effects. I do not want a Morphing Jar as I have hand advantage. Even after that Pot of Greed, I feel like I have it. I don't think he has big defenders, so I can attack with this. He has big attackers, though. I got rid of Dark Elf for free. With Dark Elf gone, I'm going to do 2400 damage, and next turn I have game. Not much you could do against me there, buddy boy. Up oh, there it is. Yep. And he waited until after I summoned all my monsters, so that's kind of a jerk move. And that's guaranteed a flip effect monster. Hmm. You know what? I'll go with Sangan. Since it's guaranteed a flip effect, I don't mind just going after it. Oh! Well, this duel's in the air now. That is a Yami Bakura card, funny enough. Anybody can win this duel. Any traps? Oh. Oh my. Oh my, I just gotta hope to god he doesn't draw anything crazy. That's good, I would prefer that. That That is good. He paid a thousand, I pay a thousand, I'm down for that. My only question to you is, do you have any... Uh, do you have anything I should actually be afraid of? Let's go with Mother Grizzly, funny enough. Two traps. Because of two traps, I have to play this differently. Oh, Monster Born needs to work. Oh, God. Yeah, I need that Jinzo. Do not stop it. Oh, thank God. It, it worked. It worked. Thank you, God. All right. Well, I have Jinzo. I have enough damage with Mother Grizzly. And unless there's a new card that I have not seen yet, this is it. That's the end of the duel. Alright, Mother Grizzly does not have enough attack. I was wrong. I apologize. I don't know why I thought it did. I keep thinking, like, if I attack her, she's going to lose a thousand. No, come on. Come on, Cooper. You're smarter than this. Whiptail's fine. I win by Catapult Turtle. I guess since he beat me last game, it just it, it, it threw away my confidence. Now i got to work better. Oh, there's my Catapult Turtle to win the duel. Catapult Turtle, if you shoot yourself, you win us the duel. So go ahead. I could Heavy Storm, but there's no need. Go ahead. And that's the end of the duel, everybody. We have defeated Yami Bakura five times. It seems you've managed to beat me five times. Not bad. It's time I, look off, I took off the kid's gloves. Oh, good, good. I was waiting for you. All right. Ukazi! <laughs> I got Ukazi back. All right, that's cool. Oh, let's continue this on. I, I still want more Dream Clowns. One is nice, but, you know, it'd be nicer than one. Two. So let's try to fight for two. Uh, Shizu. Interesting. Yep, let's go for a Shizu five times. Ah, crap. Ah, crap. Ah, yeah. I am first to go. So let me see what I can do. What kind of show can I put on for all of you? Sangan, Sangan. Well, I guess I'm Sanganning. The problem with her is she likes to banish cards, so the fact that she can remove my cards from play is really rough. That's just a decent monster. I gotta be careful with that. It's funny, but I feel like if I put my Valentine against a Shizu or like one of these characters, mine might actually be like mine might be able to beat somebody in tier four with the way she's been playing. So Sangan, the safest card I can get. It's probably Witch, funny enough, but we're gonna go Mother Grizzly. I'm okay with Mother Grizzly. Yeah, that's one of the reasons. Uh, let's see. Delinquent Duo. She only has two cards left. Oh, she has three cards left. Well, whatever she's saving must be good. So let's go ahead and get rid of one of them. Or two of them, I should say. Oh, no. I can't set. Okay, that actually matters. No, I'm not going to get rid of it. But it is impressive because that stops my flip effects. I got rid of Shining Angel. That is a good hit. We're going to attempt... A monster reborn. 
want my Sangam back. Now that was just a test for Magic Jammer. We didn't actually do that for real. That was not a for real play. Now we're going to activate Chain Joe Hardo. Now we're going to summon Catapult Turtle in attack mode. I have no fear in my heart. Catapult Turtle was good. And that is a mirror force. That is worth a seven tools. This is why we save seven tools. Uh, she only has one card in her hand after we tossed her other stuff. So I truly believe, unless she top decks a monster, that she's bricked right now. Which is why I feel like the turtle is safe. Oh my god, that is a card. That's Maha Velo. That is a card I need to be afraid of. Alright, I draw. Graceful goddamn charity. What a lovely card. Alright, lovely charity. Help me. Okay, yeah, that helps. I'm gonna get rid of, uh... Whew. Yeah, Heavy Storm, and I'm gonna get rid of Sangan. Yeah. Weird that I ever get rid of Heavy Storm, but today's the day. I summon seven colored fish. I save Megamore for later, because I feel like she's gonna have something up her sleeve. I don't need the damage right now. I just need to make sure I have the better beater. And attack with Sangan for a thousand. All right, what do you got? <gasps> yes! Okay, well, never mind. Should have used Megamorph, didn't realize this would happen. Um, it's fine. Mother Grizzly goes in, and we basically have game next turn. It's not guaranteed game, but it's game. Even if she were to draw a very powerful beater monster, I could beat her, thanks to Megamorph. And no, I don't buff my own monster, I'll just nerf hers. Also, if they destroy Mother Grizzly, I win the duel, guaranteed, because I can get Catapult Turtle. And, yep, I was right. She just had the worst hand possible. That's amazing. I will take it. Worst hand possible. I'm going to go ahead and attack with my monster, and we are going to get... Uh, let's let Seven Card Fish do it. This is our fish deck. He deserves to be the one to do it. And that is a victory, everybody. Your power has been noted. Yes. I will lead them in the right direction. All of my YouTuber subscribers in the right direction. Alright, well, I got Mushroom Man at least. Uh, damn, can't get another Dream Clown to save my life. But I will be making a new deck. So, the Umi deck in Tier 4 did amazing. In fact, it only had one loss, and that was due to a really bad hand. So, I would like to say thank you all for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and get ready, because next episode, we're going to have a much different, much more exciting deck. Bye-bye.